God's goal is not just that we would hear God's guidance, as important as that is. God's goal for his people is not just that we would see and appreciate God's gift as vital and as crucial as that is. God's goal for his people on this life's journey is to be in the presence and is to get with and is to be in fellowship and communion with the one who can and the only one who can give life and salvation to us. Because why is Jacob's goal to get to Joseph? Because Joseph is the only one. Joseph is the only one who can give life and bread and salvation to this family in the midst of the famine. The goal of this journey is get to Joseph. Get to the one who can provide for them. Friends, because nothing else matters for Jacob and this family. They don't get to Joseph, they don't survive. They don't come to him. There's no life for their family. The goal of the journey is get to the one who has the answers, who has the provision, who has life on offer to all who will come to him. And likewise, the goal for us on our life's journey is to, by faith, come to him, the one who can provide, the one who does provide, the one who has all of the answers and who offers his life for us. That's the goal. Friends, we do so many good things as Christians. We pray, we gather, we worship, we teach, we study the scriptures, we serve, and we live on mission. All of those things are amazing and wonderful and good, but they are a means to an end, a means to a destination of becoming more and more like Jesus and being in the presence of the one who offers us life and joy and salvation. That the goal of the journey, the goal of all the things that we are doing, all of the Christian habits and practices is to get us to keep going on the journey of faithfulness, of being in his presence and enjoying Jesus as the goal of our lives. That is the goal. That is the destination we are on. 